All right, guys, so I got a little update here for you on the build. Um, as some of you have been following, I have a couple builds going on at once. So I have the short-term builds, which is getting set up for a Bach 855 on the stock motor, a Bach 2000 on the stock motor at the stock voltage and aftermarket voltage. But for my own personal build, I went a little bit overboard. So let's give you guys a little preview of that. So what you're looking at here, we'll remove our fake controller, get this out of the way. So what you're looking at is a custom CPAN that I designed. This is just the first test print. So as you can see, it's not finished. Um, I didn't, I actually ran out of filament on this print, misjudged a little bit, but it's perfectly fine for doing the mock-up. So what this is, the seat base pan, um, and this is what I'm gonna send off to get custom made. This houses the controller. So we have the factory seat base here, which the seat went on over there. And this goes in place of that and allows a Bach 8000, which I have this little test printed model of it. Um, I didn't want to remove it from the other bike just quite yet. So the controller, sorry about this, trying to hold it with one hand and do it. All right. So the controller fits inside the seat base and is completely hidden. So you can see it's below it. Each one of the phase wires actually runs through here. It's gonna go down and exit right down into where the factory wiring is. So all the controller wiring will be hidden, the controller will be hidden. And then this is actually gonna be 3D printed and this will be covered so that the seat foam doesn't come in any contact with the controller. And uh, I'm gonna have the seat custom wrapped. And basically it's gonna come up and about this tall and then it'll come all the way across and be level. So the seat itself will look completely stock and just like a thick you know, aftermarket seat but it'll have a little secret and that secret will be 32,000 watts of power um, and 850 phase amps. So this is gonna be pretty sick. Um, some of you might be thinking, well, how is it gonna get any cooling? The seat's gonna be covering it. Um, and I'll pull this out here. Be careful so it doesn't fall, nothing is secure. So I'm actually going to use the seat pan, the seat base here as a heat sink. So this is all aluminum. And this plate, I'm going to put down some uh, thermal compound, and then this will actually act as the cooling for the controller, which will spread out along the frame. And as well, you know, it's a huge controller for this bike. So I'm not gonna be running 32,000 watts. I'm only gonna run somewhere about 22, 23,000. Um, and even then, the amount of time it's gonna run that is very limited. So I'm not really too concerned with heat. If I am, um, I'll probably do something like a liquid cooled setup and then just put a heat sink on the bottom of this plate and then do something that liquid cools it. Or if I really wanna get basic, I might even mount the controller over here. I'm not sure. I really wanna keep the bike looking stock. Um, and that kind of brings me to the next thing. So we have our battery cases. This is one. And then the second battery case is gonna go just here. And that's actually all we're gonna have for a battery because in these two boxes, this is gonna be 10S, 7p so that's going to be 36 volts 7p and then the second case is going to be 36 volt 7p those two packs in series are going to make up 20s 7p so using the malacel p42as we're going to come up with about 315 amps of peak discharge um, i'll be building these packs with copper and nickel so they'll be able to do the discharge I'll be using six gauge wiring for the output and uh, they'll still be able to slide on and off. So hopefully I'll have some uh, videos for that, excuse me, going over that when I get to that process. But the idea with this bike is to make it look as if it's just a stock bike with a range extender, but really be capable of making, you know, 25 to 30 horsepower. As some of you guys know, I'm a power freak. I love having too much power. Um, to me, it's just the thrill, the adrenaline. I'm a big fan of making power, so that's what I'm going for. Don't forget, I'm still gonna use the other packages. We're gonna finish up putting a Bach 855 and a Bach 2000 on the stock motor. So we'll have that. We're gonna get the wiring done and some packages done for that. So we have a ton of things coming on for the bike, but I'm just sharing you, this is my personal finalized build that we're gonna go with. So again, the new seat base, it's gonna house the controller. The seat foam is just gonna come up 
It'll be level all the way across. It'll look just like a nice factory seat and the bike will look clean and simple, but really it'll be a powerhouse that's kind of hidden. So I'm pretty excited to do this build. I absolutely love the bike so far. It's so much fun. I, I, I love it. The RX is, is spectacular in every way. So I'm pretty excited to put some power to it, get some torque and have even more fun with it. See what this frame can take and go from there. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update for the ones that are following along for the big power stuff. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing. If you've seen the 3D printing video is trying to make this seat pan, which I think is coming out pretty good. So if you guys have any suggestions, comments, questions, please drop them below. This is a shorter video, but again, just kind of going over an update with the bike. So if you guys like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. And as always, stay tuned.